Welcome everyone, this is our Wednesday Wisdom where we go over tips, tricks, and information on band instrument repair. Today we're going to show you a preview of our padding and dry fitting course that we're going to have tomorrow at 9-ish? 9.30, 9.30 a.m. It's, it's, you know... In the morning Thursday. on the Eastern time. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to get into that and show you a little bit of that. Before I, we do that, I do have a hashtag for you. Uh, that is Sax Padding. Sax padding. padding. Take that, put that in the comments below. That's going to give you a chance to win... 15% off any of the courses that we have coming up in 2023. And we have, of course, tomorrow's course is May 11th. So we're going to have until about 5 p.m. Eastern today to accept any entries. So make sure you take that hashtag, put that sax padding, put that in the comments below, and we will contact whoever is the winner uh, to get 15% off tomorrow's course. And you can, of course, sign up until 5 p.m. today and, and to make sure that you have the link and all of the good stuff to take this virtual course. We also have a course coming up in person. That's June 26th through 29th. And that is a in-person uh, saxophone basics course. So if you're getting into the trade, if you're a hobbyist, if you're a player, if you are a technician and you concentrate on other areas of repair, say you're a brass or string technician and you want to have a crash course, get it all in, get it all done in just a few days, yeah. uh, talk to your shop manager and have them pay for you to come down, get your CEU credits and get your saxophone on yes. in the end of June with Ryan. We're also going to have a... Sem- okay, so you college kids, you are not in school, come down That's right. Wilmington. There's a beach like 15 minutes away. I'll drive you down, drop you <laughs> off. Okay. But yes, perfect time to come down. You saxophone majors. Yes. You band, you know, ba- ba- oh, uh, band you know future band directors. Come Absolutely. learn about basic saxophone repair in the summertime with and the, me. And the same thing is going to apply to July. Absolutely all the same stuff. We have a different teacher. Uh, Miles DeCastro is going to be here. And he is the former president of Napper. We're going to get to him in just a second. But it's going to be the same format in person and going to go over all of the types of basic clarinet repair. So it Everyone we just mentioned, if you are into the clarinet thing, uh, that's going to apply to you in the third week of July. Okay, so we have a winner. Let me just get to that winner really quick. Uh, The winner for today is Leon Playmakers. Leon, congratulations. Send me an email, please, to rich, R-I-C-H, at musicmedic.com, and I will get you your discount code. And now, Ryan, we went to the Napper show two weekends ago. We did. We did. Yeah, we went to Napper. I don't know why I looked like I'm cleaning a bar here. Feels like I should. But yeah, we went to Napper, Napper uh, National Conference in Normal, Illinois, headquarters, ground yes. zero for Napper, our yes. National Association for Professional Band Instrument Repair Technicians. Both Kurt and I did a combined clinic down there. I think actually that's the, that's our booth right there. That's you can our see booth. Yes, showing sir. all of our wares. Uh, there is a um, it's from the Napper Training Center. We yes. had a barbecue at the Napper Training Center. I've been there a few times. I've taught an engraving course there. I've taught a saxophone course there. Um, it's great for education, uh, and obviously they have some Napper swag. Well, and great for hands-on clinics because they yes. have a, a great working space there, and you do have the ability to kind of go in depth into Mm -hmm. different hands-on aspects of repair, just like we do here. That's right. And we have, oh, there's your clinic. There's a clinic. There's me off to the right, tucked off to the side. There's Kurt. He's explaining something Something, in depth. Something very tiny, you can see. He's talking about something very tiny mechanism. That's what you do when your hands are like that. But no, it was a great clinic. Uh, And what was the clinic on? Neopads. Ah, excellent. It's about Neopads, so yes. Okay, and so you guys... Oh, Oh, there we are in the airport. This is how Music Medic rolls. We had 12 bags plus a big box plus all of our luggage. Yes. But we just do one big train. Rich carries it all himself. Yep. Easy. Um, Easy peasy. Easy. So Uh, there's us in the plane. I think this is the second time after the first one got delayed. So there we are. Uh, Not quite first class, but it's always first class when you travel with Music Medic. Bing! (laughs) <laughs> so there you go. Uh, there is Snapper. So if you go to one of these Snapper conferences, they usually have uh, you know kind of a luncheon together. Yes. All the techs. And uh, dinners, you can yeah. See, yeah, there's the the board of directors or the the Napper kind of the the administrator. I don't know what you call them. They're the head honchos. The head honchos. Regional directors. There's Miles De Castro at the podium right there. Uh, former president uh, Miles De Castro. Absolutely fantastic job. He is going to be teaching the clarinet in person course. Yes, guys. Where else do you get to study with a Napper, former Napper president? Absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, so that's what the that's what the lunch looks like with Napper. That's right, and 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 Miles, uh, you're only allowed to do three year terms. Yes, and so Miles finished up his last term 
uh, this year. This was his last speech that Ryan's got a picture of. He has, I want to give a shout out to his writing team. Oh my goodness. Absolutely fantastic writing team. It's, yes. it's like 12 people that are that he just keeps in a room and that's all they do is just write his speeches. I'm sure he has you know a hand in that as well, but it having was, a right we rich and i we got to write our own yeah, material yeah it's actually all improvised yes <laughs> you guys hey got, oh, look at that guy. guy oh next year guys denton texas i'm getting ready i got my cowboy hat i got my spurs i got my chaps i mean i got everything i'm hoping fingers crossed flashback to us here fingers across <laughs> that mechanical bull mechanical bull hashtag mechanical bull right now for so that's uh, right. We, uh, next year's conference is going to be in Denton, Texas. Uh, I believe it's the first weekend of April in 2024. You can check napper.org to get the details of that. They're starting to put it together. Uh, but we're going to be there, and we'll probably have some sort of... Uh, shenanigans. Event. Shenanigans. <laughs> or oh, event. Sorry, event. You're right. That's more professional. <laughs> so, um, so, Ryan, let's get this hashtag out of here, and let's talk a little bit about your course, the padding and dry fitting course. It's going to be yeah. a virtual course tomorrow. Uh, so you can take this anywhere in the world in whatever time zone you're in. If you aren't available to watch the course, it's going to be recorded so we can send you the recording of the course. And if you have questions, Ryan or I will be available to answer uh, any technical questions that you may have. Uh, I, I wanted to talk about what's going to happen in the course, but should we show them the padding room? Sure, yes. Uh, in fact, you know, why don't we go ahead and zip on over the pad there it is right there folks we'll talk about that we're gonna bring our drinks with you we'll walk over just give us a moment i'm sure you can still hear us but you can't quite see us yet until ah here we go and pad room we're in all right very good here it is i got my little monitor here we're we're gonna assume Things are working fine. I hope things are. No interruptions. But here we are in the padding room. Uh, This is a separate room within the Saks Pro Shop that I'm able to close the door, turn the lights off, and this is where we do most of our padding, So, which will be part of the dry fitting and padding course. But dry fitting is first. Okay. So, Ryan, let's go over, let's give just a brief overview of some of the topics that you're going to talk in this virtual course. Um, Pad timing? Mm, Absolutely. Variables? Ah, yes, multiple variables of dry fitting. We're going to talk, I think it's four or five, maybe six now we keep adding to it. Uh, I'm going to talk about all those variables of dry fitting even before you start putting pads into it. Okay, and what about pad selection and different pad, um, uh, the genetics of pads, or not the genetics. Uh, Anatomy? Anatomy, thank you. Well, genetics too, you know, they came from something. Uh, But yes, I'm going to talk about all the different types of pads, tan pads, definitely some roux pads. Okay. Uh, Talking about those, we'll talk about rezo selection, rezo installation. Okay, Very cool. all that fun stuff. Uh, adhesives? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, guys, there's a variety of adhesives. I know there's a lot of debate about which types of adhesives to use. I'll tell you guys which my favorite, what I tend to use, but there's, like I said, multiple options. Okay. Very good. And then uh, what about tools? Yes, I have a couple tools laid out, uh, a couple ones that we see here. This is our new Music Medic. I don't know what exactly what we're calling this, this, lo- this uh, uh, swivel lock there we go. There's the name, the swivel lock plier, uh, swivel screwdriver. lock screwdriver. Very so, cool. Uh, talk well, about what these. Else do you have there some other uh, tools that I like to use when I'm doing uh, dry fitting, which are our duckbill parallel music medic pliers. Okay. I'll talk about these guys. Want to know what these are for? Look at them. Interesting, right? Interesting looking pliers. I wonder what I could do with this. Well, sign up for the course and you'll find out. All right. Okay. Uh, Are some pad slicks when I actually get into doing some padding. Uh, I have our artisan pad slicks. Oh, this is Look, oh, it's got my initials engraved on it. So somebody, there it is right there. RW. That's me. Take those off Ryan's bench. Wow. Very cool. Okay. uh, Talk about some other dry fitting tools like our bending levers. I have some other pad things right here. We'll talk about adhesive or shellac application with our Z gun. We'll talk about different heating sources. I'll talk about Johnny's seasoning salts. Actually, I won't talk about that. We'll talk about different torches. Like I said, different heating uh, procedures uh, as far as, you know, tools, air torches, regular torches. There's a lot of myths and kind of uh, voodoo with sax padding. Is there going to be any debunking? There is. I okay. will debunk myths. Okay. Okay. So if you're interested, if you think you you know some myths here, bring them on in. I'll debunk them. I'll okay. And it, debunk well, what about, uh, will you go over pad and resonator combinations and resonator theory? Yes. Resonator theory. This is a okay. big one, guys. Talk about different pad and reso combinations, different resonators, you know, their applications, what they actually do or don't do. Debunked. Okay. okay. Very good. And then what about... 
Uh, so this is a, this has a lot to do with traditional padding, but yes. what about neopads? Neopad. Are we going to talk about neopads in the course? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. A lot of neopad talk. I'm going to be comparing and contrasting traditional padding with neopads, um, you know, how they're similar, how they're different. Okay, very different. Uh, but yes, we'll talk about neopads. And is this course, so, you know, I know that this course is meant for technicians, but can DIY folks, players, teachers take this course? Absolutely. Anybody can take the course. Um, yeah, I, I, you don't necessarily need anything to follow along. It's going to be uh, presented in a way that even if you have a basic understanding of saxophone repair, if you have no understanding of saxophone repair, it might be a little over your head. But if you have any kind of inclination on saxophone repair, it's definitely going to help you out. So like if you're just a tinkerer, like tinkerer? Oh, I'm a player, I've, I've, sure. you know, I've, I've fixed a couple corks, you know, something like that, Absolutely. a neck cork. But they'll still be able to get something out yeah. of the course. If you're one of those guys that have ordered a set of pads from us and had trouble installing them, this course is for you. Now, just to go back to Neopads, oh, are they going to okay. be able to get Neopad certified? Neopad certified. If they yeah. take this course. Yes. Yeah, that's what we were doing at the booth at Napper. Uh We did our clinic, and then we came back to the booth. And if you sat down and talked to Kurt or I or anybody in the booth for an extended period of time, you got Neopad certified. So yeah, if you guys take this course. I'll send you a little Neopad certification. Very it's cool. It's about this big. It's the world's tiniest certificate. Very you good. can mount it on your wall. You don't need a lot of space. It's about that big. Do they need tools to take the course? You don't. You don't, but I will um, provide detailed explanations on the different types of tools that I use uh, and obviously their applications and uses. And uh, I said this before, but what if they can't? take the course live so the course starts uh not you know nine ish a.m eastern tomorrow but what if they have to work or if they're not available to take it you know all week mm -hmm. um what can they do uh you guys can still sign up for the course and what we do is we record the entire course and all the participants all of that that have signed up for it um are provided with that link and then it's good for 30 days you can watch it it's a cloud recording um and then watch it at your leisure uh, you can watch it, and then what we'll do is I will uh, provide you with some time, some one-on-one -on -one time, just me and you, uh, where if you have any questions, I can answer That's cool. those. Uh, obviously, the nice thing about taking the course live is as I'm going over things, as I'm discuss discussing different topics, um, the participants will usually ask questions as the course goes on. Obviously, watching it recorded, you don't have that luxury, but I'll get you some one-on-one -on -one Ryan time. Oh, Who doesn't oh, like some one-on-one -on -one Ryan's time? So uh, even, that's worth it right there. What Now, uh, the other thing I had, Ryan, a uh, question for you is, if they take the course, will they be able to get free samples of the pads that you're going to talk about? I'm going to say no, but I think that might be wrong. Uh, yes, they're going to okay. get some samples. You guys are going to get some samples. Rich will be nice enough to... Yes. to to send them out, he's not going to hand deliver them, but he'll send it out right to you. Yes, no so. matter where you are in the world, if you take the course, everything that Ryan goes over, if you say you don't have that, uh, and that includes some of our more upper echelon pads, like the RuPads Extreme, mm. or even some of our synthetic pads that are a little newer, like uh, the Opus pads for clarinet. Well, okay, they get clarinet pad samples too? Well, if this is a person who is interested in instrument repair, it's a good idea for them to get a little taste of the different products that we make here at musicmedic.com. Uh, we make all of our pads here in Wilmington, North Carolina. We have a big pad facility uh, that we manufacture. So if you get into padding with our pads or if you're you know, spending the money to educate yourself, I also think that you should get some free samples. That's right. I like that idea. And I do have the course discounted. So there's discounted tuition today. And don't forget to take that hashtag and put it in the comments below so that you can win 50% off the course uh, in addition to the percent off that i already discounted the course. double percent no, double. Off. oh my goodness uh so you know what i may sign up for the course you're making it appealing to me <laughs> so so ryan I, I that's all the questions that i have for you should we head back to the other room or is yes. anything else you want to go over in the pad room no i think this will be like i said most of it will probably take place either in that room possibly at my bench and i'll probably do a little bit of padding in here because the nice thing about this is i can shut off the lights all right, as you okay. can see, it's complete darkness in here. I can't even see two feet in front of my face. Uh, but no, it'll be partly in here, partly up there. Rich, where'd you go? Rich. Ryan. Yes. I, I can All right, let's head back to the studio. Right. Head towards the light of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> of the studio. Okay, so they're going to be able to take the course. And then, Ryan, what time are you going to be starting that course? I am going to be sending out the link that has all the pertinent information as far as the Zoom link. Um, 
Zoom uh, etiquette, uh, mm -hmm. so to speak. Uh, and we'll also have the, the start time as well. It'll be 9, 15, 9, 30-ish. Okay. Um, so again, I don't know why I keep wiping up like on the bar, but it makes it look like I'm doing something. So come <laughs> on in, folks. Have a seat. What can I get you? <laughs> what kind of pad can I get you here? Uh, so that course is going to be starting at, uh, let's say, approximately 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have until 5 p.m. Eastern Time to sign Clock up for the course. Clock is ticking, folks. Make sure that you take sax padding. Put that in the comments below. That is going to give you a chance to win a discount on the course uh and then i think ryan that's going to do it for us right now we will be back next week with a three-part series on uh clean oil and adjust oh <laughs> the c oh it's going to be the c part that is correct right that, that is, is the, yeah look at this nice job we, we are doing uh, a coa and it's going to be for the diy so we're going to imagine that we're not in a professional shop but we have just a couple of basic tools and we're going to do a coa kind of for the diy person so yes next week will be the clean part of the coa so tune in for that uh that's going to do it for us right now uh thank you guys so much for watching and until next time happy repairing